So the stock market hasn't been doing so well lately. I mean, just check out Twitter. There's even its own hashtag, stock market crash, where people usually post these funny and useless memes, but every once in a while, someone actually puts some thought into their tweet, and they use these cash tags to link to individual securities, and we can also see they get some engagement metrics here. So I was wondering exactly which stocks are people tweeting about with regards to the crash. Are there any stocks I should know about? Maybe ones I should buy or sell? To answer this question, I collected some data from Twitter's official data API, which is free for anyone to access tweets from the past seven days. You just enter your query here. So in my case, I'll put in stock market crash hashtag, and I can get back the cash tags that people post in their tweets, which link to individual stocks. And I can also get the engagement metrics if I provide public metrics in the field parameter when I query the API. And to download all this data from the API, I use my own data scraping service. Link in the description. Disclaimer, it's a paid service. I provide my hashtag here, tell it to exclude retweets, replies, and quotes. Then very important, if you do this yourself, make sure to provide these fields parameters so you get actual data back. You have to tell Twitter exactly the kind of data you want to get back from its endpoint. Otherwise, you'll only get tweet text. The platform parses everything out automatically so I can download CSV files immediately without any coding. And then to get the cache tags, I actually have to do a little bit of hunting here under all collections and find entities cache tags. And I can download the CSV file with all of the stock tickers here in one column and then references to the overall tweet over here on the right. So I can see the text of the tweet, the metrics, etc. And here I can see that these are duplicated because it automatically z-normalizes for each ticker since each tweet can contain multiple tickers. And to go through all the pages and get the complete results, I use the workflow formula here, which does pagination for me. And I can see it combined all the results together into these results files. All right, let's get to the fun stuff where we do the data analysis. So I loaded that tweet cache tag CSV file I showed you. And then I made all the cache tags uppercase so we can be consistent. And then I calculated the total engagement for each tweet as one plus the number of retweets plus replies plus likes plus quotes. So we reward tweets with higher engagement and we can visualize them on a graph we're going to make using this very complicated coding formula. So this renders a graph where these blue nodes here represent tweets and these red nodes here with labels are actual stock tickers if the tweets reference. So all of these blue nodes here all are a tweet that reference BTC and their size based on their total engagement. This little dot here not only includes the reference to BTC, but also mentions other stock tickers like FTM and ADA. So it has links to those as well and is placed in the middle of all three. This approach allows me to clearly see an overall picture of which stock tickers people are talking about, specifically here in the center is where most of the tweet activity is. And I can also see if there are any clusters here like BTC that everyone's talking about. There's also another cluster here where the two highest engagement tweets are sitting. It looks like they're by AMC and GameStop. Let's check them out and see what all the fuss is over AMC and GameStop today. So we're going to execute this. It's going to rank them by total engagement and surface the top two. So we can see the first tweet. This is, oh, this is the one we saw earlier. It's absolutely crazy to see AMC and GameStop people not worrying what's over about the stock market crashing. Okay, I guess ignorance is bliss in this case, and this has a lot of engagement. And the second one here is spreading information about corruption of the U.S. stock. All right, so this looks like one of those anti-hedge fund tweets and protest, and it, of course, gets a lot of engagement. All right, so let's see what these other tweets are talking about. Specifically, I'm going to redraw the graph, but this time only with tweets that include the AMC cash tag to see if they're talking about a lot of other things or just AMC. And lo and behold, most of the tweets are only talking about AMC and GameStop. Very few people seem to be aware that other stock tickers exist. You can see they're over here. They don't get a lot of engagement. These could also be spam bots. I've seen a lot of them. They just list off a bunch of tickers and no one really cares. So I don't think this part of the graph is very useful. Now let's take a look at the Bitcoin people and redraw that graph. So we only include the blue dots that reference Bitcoin. Let's see if they only talk about Bitcoin or if they have anything else useful to offer. All right, and this graph looks pretty familiar, although they do seem to be talking about a few other things that are similar. So we can see in the center of the graph, not only talking about Bitcoin, they're talking about Tesla, Ethereum, some Dogecoin stuff, but it's still not really that relevant to the stock market crash, and it just seems to be an echo chamber like the AMC and GameStop people. And the last cluster I saw was around SPY, which I believe is an ETF around the S&P 500 or related. And we can see here, this is where there's a lot of activity, but if we take a closer look, a lot of these tickers are just big companies. They comprise a lot of the indices. So people are tweeting about them, but they're just tweeting about them in the sense of the general market. There's very few people talking about these smaller stocks here on the outside of the graph. Everything is centered on the inside of the graph. So to get useful information, I'm gonna eliminate any tweets that mention Bitcoin, AMC, or SPY. 
And I'm also going to make sure I only look at tweets with at least five engagements so I find things that matter. And now I just want to see if there are any patterns I should be aware of, any particular stocks that people are talking about in mass. And no, there are very few stocks. There's like Tesla, which everyone knows about and people just tweet about in general. I also see Amazon here. So nothing really too concerning in this graph. I did notice on the left here, though, that there are these three tweets all mentioning ENZC and nothing else. And all three seem to have respectable engagement metrics. So I decided to check these out. I may have found what I've been looking for, a stock to buy or a stock to avoid. And these three tweets are very positive on ENZC, saying that it's in biotech and cures are priceless, which I agree with. It's just a problem of whether the stock can actually execute or not. This one's comparing it to FANG, and then the other one's saying ENZC is a beast, even in this bear market. So I checked it out, and gee, those tweets didn't age well. It's down almost 8% today, but looking over the past five days when I collected this data, the stock was doing pretty well. It just soared a lot on June 13th. So I can understand why they made those tweets. And this is not financial advice. I'm not an advisor. I am not recommending anyone go out and buy this stock. I'm just reporting what I observed in the data. So in summary, most of this Twitter cash tag data seems inactionable because most of the activity is either in an echo chamber and either Bitcoin people or AMC GameStop people. The other half of usable information is just talking about the overall stock market in general and very large companies, which I don't think is particularly useful. However, we did find a few diamonds in the rough of some tweets mentioning specific stocks like in biotech. So maybe worth checking out. I don't know. Do your own research. And thanks for watching until the end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm sure there will be a lot of feedback.